I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber who wants to know that we have a bundle of equations and how to find which one represents a line and which one does not represent a line. So let me write down the equations uh, which were there. Uh, y equals to x was one of them. Y equals to minus x. We had uh, uh, y equals to x square and we had y equals to 1 over x, right? So these are four equations given to you and you want to know which represents a line and which do not represent a line and we also want to understand why. So, so the question here basically is uh, identify equation of line that is what right and explain explain your thinking and explain your answer right so let's say that is the part of question which we need to work on okay now some of you who know all these uh, for them I will just sketch this so that while we are working we'll also have clear idea of what we are actually looking at right so well this should have come at the end but uh, we always have a different approach right so in this approach let us say you have a graphing calculator or you just put it somewhere and see what this y equals to x represents so y equals to x will kind of give you a line which will be going through the origin so it will go through the center minus x has negative slope it drops down as you move from left to right it will be kind of like this right so kind of like this this x square is like a like a parabola so if you graph this one it will kind of look like this so it's a curved surface not a straight line 1 over x will be kind of like this so now from sketching the graph it is kind of obvious that these two represent line and those two don't that's one way to figure it out the other way could be we know that in x could have any values based on the value of x y will have some value we also treat them as functions so what we can do here is we can actually uh, have a table of values so if I have a table of values for different values of x we can calculate different values of y that should help us right so we say well let's keep some values of x in the first case y is exactly same in the second case y is equal to negative value of x in the third case y is x square and in the fourth case y is equals to 1 over x good values to take we sometimes call them key values right are always minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 these are by default good values to take in such cases right so we'll take x values as minus 1 minus 2 0 1 and 2 right always write them in order it helps to reason out things right <laughs> if you really have to explain order is one way to begin with right so you get easy explanation right so don't jumble them up that's my request once you have done so substitute the value in the equation that's what we mean when we give you an equation right so if I have given you an equation then substitute and find the value so minus 2 here y and x are same things you could have written x equals to y same thing right both are same thing correct so so this y value is exactly same so i don't even have to think that is to say if x is minus 2 then y is minus 2 we get a point here if x is minus 1 y is minus 1 we get a point there if x is 0 y is 0 if x is 1 y is 1 and if x is 2 y is 2 so we get all our points joining them we get a straight line if the line is straight we know it's a linear equation which represented this line so it makes sense well that's that's how we could do it 
there is another explanation and that is what we call first difference so so let me I don't have any space here let me use the word here we say first difference now this is very important thing that is to say we make another column here we say delta is my difference okay it is from y2 minus y1 we say y2 minus y1 always okay so that is to say it's the difference between this value and this value this value and this value that is what we are saying first difference for us so we have taken very easy values to work with minus 1 minus of minus 2 gives us plus 1 0 minus minus 1 gives us plus 1 1 minus 0 is 1 2 minus 1 is 0. so we see that first difference is constant so this is constant then it is a line then it's a line so first difference is constant is another way to explain that the equation represents a line okay so you can do this check for all of them by after placing these values anyway let's continue with the next one minus of x so minus 2 becomes 2 this becomes 1 this is 0 this becomes minus of whatever value but if you move here x square what is square of minus 2 think like this minus 2 whole square this is important put it in the brackets you get 4 right minus 1 whole square is 1 0 square is 0 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 we know that now that really means that for minus 2 you have a value which is 4 this is for minus 2 for minus 1 you have a value here 1 for 0 it is 0 for 1 it is 1 and for 2 it is 2 this graph is symmetric about y axis do you see that so what you observe here is that when y equals to x square we get our points as placed here they are symmetric about the y axis this is a curved surface we call it parabola and definitely it is not a straight line so y equals to x square will not represent a straight line now let's look into 1 over x now if I write x as minus 2, y equals to uh, 1 over minus 2, which is like minus half, right? Okay. Uh, now, if I write uh, uh, minus 1, so it is 1 over minus 1, which is minus 1, 0. Well, I cannot divide by 0. 1 over 0 does not exist. And so that is not defined. Okay. And how about uh, 1? 1 over 1 is 1 and 1 over 2 is half right so so these are the values which we get here so that is how it is so what we had done here is we had done only half of my graph the other half will sketch now so what we really observe is that if x is minus 2 so let's say this is 1 this is minus 2 in that case y is minus half so it's kind of here right and if x is minus 1, then y is 1. Right? So this is, let's say, let's say 1. Okay. If x is 0, then, then we kind of don't have anything here, right? So there is no value. It does not, uh, it's not defined at this point, x equals to 0. But if x is 1, let me get back to the graph which we have drawn. If x is 1, then in that case we have 1. And if x is 2, then we have half, right? So, so we have some values here. Well, to really draw this graph, we need more values. Let's be clear about it. So it's symmetric like this. Ultimately, you get a graph like this. And this function is called reciprocal function. So let me write down the name here. It is called reciprocal function. And this one is quadratic, right? And the first two are linear. Okay. So what we really observe here is that you only get a straight line if x is without any power or, or if x is without, if x is not in the denominator. So broadly speaking, this is what you get. Now as an exercise, what you can do is you can also test the first difference. So in this case, I'm saying it is not a line. So let's find the difference between these numbers and see what do we get. Okay, so you get uh, 1 minus 4, 
1 minus 4 is 3. And how about 0 minus 1? 0 minus 1 is, uh, I should say minus 3, 1 minus 4, right? Minus 3. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. And 4 minus 1 is 3. All these numbers are different. They are not constant as we saw in the case of a line. So it's not linear. But when the degree is 2, second difference will be constant. I'm running out of space, but if you do it second time, that is this difference, if you find, then what do you get? Let me overwrite. Minus 1 minus of minus 3 is, is 2. 1 minus minus 1 is 2. And 3 minus 1 is also 2. So in this case, what we see is the second difference is constant and is equal to 2. So when something like this is there, degree 2 we say, that case second difference is constant. It is quadratic in nature. So I hope that gives you a clear idea of what we're talking about. So to look at the equation, if I have x without any power, then it is linear. Otherwise, it may not be linear, right? So that is what we are trying to conclude here. Now these days we have many multiple choice questions. So what I will do here is give you one question. And in that you need to identify which one represents a linear equation, right? So I'll not write x, x, x. I'll use the square terms, okay? So, so my options are A. I'm saying y square equals to x option b x square equals to uh, let's say y option c so we are using do you see this y square terms mm -hmm. so that is what we are saying and if i have y square terms or x square terms uh, we could have x square plus uh, y square equals to one does it represent a line well <clears throat> In these equations, you will see none of them represent a line. Uh, but if I write x plus y equals to 1, here the power of x and y is kind of 1, it will represent a line, right? So if you have to identify from a set of equations, good rule of thumb is that x and y do not have those powers, right? They are linear, so we are talking about just degree 1, correct? That's the whole idea. That should give you a clue about identifying equation of a line in the given scenario, right? So this is not, this is not a linear, this is not a linear uh, equation, this we already have there. This is a circle with radius 1 and this one is linear, right? So, so I hope uh, that helps to identify which equation represents a line, which does not. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.